Hi everyone, the German Academic Exchange Service DAG has announced the scholarships for international students for the session 2021-22 and in this video we will cover all the scholarships which are available for engineering students for the session 2021-22. So let's check what is the content of today's video. We will check the countries which are eligible to apply for these scholarships. We will see what engineering programs are available for which you can apply the scholarships, which requirements you have to fulfill, what is the value of scholarships and the benefits that you can get through these scholarships. We will see what are the documents and in which format you have to prepare these documents. And finally, we will see the application and selection procedure for these scholarships. So let's start with the eligible countries. So here is the list of eligible countries. Uh, we, if we start from the left side. You have countries within Europe, then Africa, America, Asia, etc. And you can see it's further divided into north and south and east parts. So you can easily locate uh, your country and see whether your country is listed here and if it's listed here you are eligible to apply for these scholarships so i hope you have already seen your country or located your country if it's it's available in the list so let's move to the next slide which is the engineering programs so here we will go through uh, all the engineering programs which are available the first program is hydro science and engineering at technical university of dresden and in the brackets i have listed the deadline so the deadline for this program is 15th october 2020 now the next program is textile and ready-made clothing technology again at technical university of dresden the deadline for this program is 10th of October 2020 and the reason why I have highlighted this program this is the only program which is taught in German language all the remaining programs of this uh, list or all the remaining engineering programs will be taught in, in English language so the third program is engineering energy and environmental management in developing countries at University of Flensburg the application for this uh, course consists of two steps. First is the online application for which you have to uh, sub submit your online application until 31st of uh, August 2020. And in the second step, you have to send the hard copies of your documents. And for the deadline for that is 30th September 2020. The next program is Water Resource and Environmental Management at University of Hanover. Deadline for this program is 30th September 2020. Renewable Energy at University of Oldenburg. The deadline is 15th of October 2020. Infrastructure Planning at University of Stuttgart. The deadline is 30th September. Air quality control, solid waste, and wa wastewater processing engineering at University of Stuttgart. So this is the second program from uh, University of Stuttgart the, with a different deadline. The deadline for this particular program is 15th of February 2021. And the last program in engineering is natural hazards and risks in structural engineering at BHU Weimar. The deadline for this program is 15th of October. So these are all the engineering programs for which you can apply for scholarships in Germany while you are in your home country and you belong to one of the countries uh, which are listed in the list of countries which we saw in the previous slide. So let's see now what are the requirements that you have to fulfill so that you are eligible to get the scholarship. First, we will see the academic requirements. Your bachelor degree must be well above the average grade, which means if we check the, if we consider the CGPA of on a grade on a scale of four, your CGPA must be lying somewhere around 3.8, 3.7. 
or above so that you can uh, you have good chances of applying so if if there is if you if your university is using a scale of 10 uh, then it depends what is the minimum passing marks for you if the minimum passing marks is uh, fifth, five for example um, then anything like uh, 8.5 or above uh, has very good chances of getting acceptance and if we talk about percentage again the low low lowest pass possible marks or the lowest passing marks will also play a role and if we consider that the lowest pass, uh, pa ma passing marks for your particular degree are let's say 50 percent then anything above above 85 percent will be having a very good chance you have to fulfill the necessary academic requirements of the program which means each program will be having a specific requirements which will be uh, set by the course or the university and you have to uh, see whether you fulfill all these requirements because some universities have additional requirement like if you are coming from uh, you want to apply for mechanical engineering let's say for any program you must have studied so many number of credit hours in this and this particular module so this can apply to your program also so if there is any such specific requirement uh, you have to fulfill all that requirement and you must have four years of bachelor degree in an appropriate programs which means uh, first uh, the degree should be of four year and the you must be having a relevant degree um, it should not be like this you are applying for a management program and you have an engineering background so these are the uh, academic requirements let's talk about the language requirements the requirements set by DAAD are like six band in IELTS and if you take TOEFL IBT you must have at least 80 but that is not the final uh, requirement as far as the language uh, is concerned you have to fulfill the requirement set by each individual program you have to set so if you apply for one particular program which has um, IELTS requirement of seven this means you have to get seven or you must have seven so that you are uh, you fulfill this requirement then you have to write a motivation letter we will come to this motivation letter what should be the content of this motivation letter in the later part of uh, the video where we will discuss the documents a mandatory requirement for this scholarship is to have two years of professional experience at the time of application after the completion of your bachelor degree so you must have completed your bachelor degree and after that you must have acquired at least two years of professional experience and that should be uh, available these two years of professional experience must be available at the time of application so if you apply in june july or august you until that particular time your two years of professional experience must be available it shouldn't be like this that you have acquired one year of professional experience but you are able to provide the professional experience of remaining one year after uh, the deadline is expired or before the start of your program because your program will start in 2021 um, this is not like this you have to uh, provide the evidence of two years of professional experience at the time of application which means before the deadline of your program so now let's talk about the scholarship value and benefits that you will get from uh, these scholarships uh, the scholarship value is 850 euros per month for a duration of 12 to 24 months so if your master degree is of 18 months because there are many 18 months or one and a half year programs uh, so in that case the scholarship will be provided for 18 months but if the degree of your the duration of your master degree is 24 months then you will get a scholarship for 24 months you will be paid um, health insurance uh, which cost almost 90 to 95 euros um, per month so that will be covered your accident insurance and personal liability insurance will be covered uh, 
this is a very big plus point because sometimes the liability insurance, um, if something happens, you may have to pay in millions. Travel allowance will be provided and under certain circumstances, scholarship holders may receive the following additional benefits. Um, monthly rent, which means you will be getting uh, additional advantage of 250 to four, almost 400 euros because this is the rent usually students pay when they live in the student hostel. And if your family is also uh, accompanying you, then um, monthly allowance will be provided um, to you because your family will be living with you. So this is also a part of this scholarship. So let's talk about the documents that you have to prepare. The first document is to have you have to prepare is the signed DAD application form with the current date. Uh, the link for this application form will be provided in the description of this video. So you can get uh, the link from the description of video. You have to personally sign your CV and they have recommended the Europass format of CV. The link of this Europass format is also provided in the uh, description of this video. Personally signed motivation letter. So you have to describe your motivation for the uh, program you are applying and you have to link it with your uh, current occupation. Uh, you can apply up to three different courses. Uh, so three is the maximum limit. So if you apply for one particular course, you have to definitely write one motivation letter. But if you apply for more than one, like if you apply for two programs or three programs, then you have to additionally provide in the motivation letter uh, two additional things. Why you are applying for these programs, these two programs or the, these three programs. And the second thing you have to do is uh, why you have prioritize them in this in this provided sequence. So if you have put an, a course A on the top and course B on the second uh, priority, why you have selected this priority and why you are applying for these two courses. So all this will be counted in the application process. You have to get a letter, letter of recommendation from your current employer uh, that should be issued on the letterhead of your uh, company and must be signed and stamped by the issuing authority and it must contain also the date of uh, on which it is issued. Uh, then the certificate of employment uh, from the previous or current employer which gives a proof that you have two years of relevant working experience. Uh, so if you have worked in two different companies during the last two years, then you have to get uh, two employment certificates. Uh, and if you are working, have worked only in a single company during the last two years, then you can provide uh, the certificate from your current employer. You have to provide the proof of language skill, copies of academic degrees, uh, like your bachelor degree, and the copies of academic transcript, which must also show the grading system you, your university is following. Uh, it must show that what is the maximum grade, what, uh, what grade correspond to which, which percentage, uh, what GPA correspond to what percentage, uh, or and what is the minimum passing marks or uh, which, what is the minimum passing grades uh, for your degree. And if you are from China, if you apply from China, then you have to apply, uh, provide additionally APS certificate. This is required only from the applicants of China. So let's see now that what is the application process and what is the selection process. The application and selection process consists of number of steps. The first step is that you will send your application application directly to the postgraduate course you are applying for. So you first have to visit the website of university and check what is their application process and get uh, to know what documents additional you, the university or you have to uh, gather for this particular 
program so you apply you do not need to apply to dad directly and your application will not be considered valid if you send your application documents either through post or through email or uh, whatever um, medium to dad then your application process will not be considered valid and it will not be included in the selection process so you have to apply directly at the university to the program you are uh, interested in and you have to include that dad application form additionally in your application that will help the university to know that you are interested in also a scholarship and the second step uh, once you have sent your documents a selection committee of that particular university will suggest dad that this is a potential candidate for the scholarship so they will recommend your application uh, to dad uh, and consider you a potential candidate but that does not uh, this recommendation does, does not mean that you will uh, your uh, scholarship has been finalized uh, there are further steps the suggested con uh, candidate will be contacted uh, by dad and they will be requested for upload of their documents on the dad's portal so that will be the next step or the third step and in the fourth step uh, the selection process will be finalized and the applicants will be informed about uh, whether they are accepted for the scholarship or not so this is how it works i hope you got an overview of uh, how this process works and what are the steps you are required uh, i wish you all the best for your application and uh, wish you that you get the scholarship you are interested in there are many other fields for which uh, i will make uh, videos in the coming days so you can subscribe to my channel if uh, you are you, your interested program is not among uh, those which belong to the engineering field uh, because there are scholarships related to humanities to arts medic medicine etc so i will be making videos about the application process for those fields also in coming videos uh, in coming days so you can subscribe my channel so that you get the update on your field of interest thank you for watching the video and all the best for your application